Andrew, what what you think about uh, the performance of the offensive line in the opener, and, and what's maybe the big focus going into this? Uh, the big focus is details. But you know what I saw? I saw no line has been. They were they were finishing. They were trying to get after people's get people's butts. <laughs> um, and you know we have a group of guys that really just wants to dominate people this year. We just we got to keep working on the small things, the details, and it's going to take us a long way. There were a handful of plays where the receivers were out there blocking their butts off as well and springing guys, tight ends as well. Yep. Is that fun for you to see as a guy who gets down in the trenches and gets gritty on every play? Once in a while, those receivers can do it too. Oh, yeah. No, we watch film. We see our receivers doing that stuff. We love it. We, You know, it's something we've been needing for a couple of years now. And our guys, they, like I said, we have an offense that wants to dominate people this year. And it, uh, we're getting our hands on people. We're running our feet. And we're, trying to, we're trying to mash people. It's early. Week one, but what's the biggest difference you see in this team compared to last year? Mindset, all the way. This, like once again, this team wants to dominate people. We're not just trying to win this year; we're trying to dominate. How did when did you first start seeing that emerge? Fall camp, honestly. Uh, ever since we put the pads on this fall, it's been a different mindset that I've seen. Had a conversation that came from Jimbo. Did you guys take that upon yourself? Like, where did that come from? You know, um, I think I think it's just stemming off of last year and the performances we've been having. This, this is Oklahoma. There's a standard around here. We didn't hold up to it last year, so we realized we got to do things differently this year to hold ourselves to the standard that we're supposed to hold ourselves to. You yeah. got to work with them all month. I always like to see Walter in a game setting now. It was great. Walter, once again, likes to dominate, likes to finish. It's it's a great it's a great deal going on. You had a lot of uh, I trusted in my right tackle. <laughs> uh, Savion, you know, again, another guy who hasn't started a whole lot of games. What struck you or what you learned playing next to him? Maybe not the first one, but um, he's one of our guys that – I'm going to keep saying this, but he's, he's one of our guys that wants to come and dominate, and he's just bringing a mindset that we're in practice, and he, Bird's out here laying people on the ground every other play, you know what I mean? So he just – he makes everybody else want to work harder and hit harder and – Run our feet more. Can you describe how working with him the entire training camp has given you maybe a, a sense of comfort and reliability on him that he's going to do what he needs to do and he knows what to do and all that kind of thing? Oh, yeah. Um, Bird, you know, what I love about Bird the most, he, kind of, he wants to come off the ball. He's going to get his hands on people. We, uh, we deal with a lot of interior interior twists where the guards have to come off the ball or, or the players isn't going to run right. And, I can trust Bird to come off the ball and keep the play going. So. You communicate with that that kind of thing uh, to him a lot, like uh, before plays or between plays or whatever. All all five of us up there communicating. Like on Saturday, we'd see something. You hear three or four guys, hey, hey, twist, twist. He's coming this way. He's going that way. Like the guys are reading. The guys are locked in, and we're ready to play. Outside of dominating, Tyler Guyton was just over here, you know, talking and asking you, you know, the question. You said you trust in your right tackle, but. What have you seen out of him from year one at tackle to year two, considering he's fairly new at offensive line to begin with? Uh, I'd say Tyler's doing really good with his confidence. He's just, like you said, he's he knows more what he's doing now. He's not oversetting. He's uh, he's hands inside. He's got he's working on the details. All five of us got to work better on the details. But guiding, he's just locking more and more into the small things, which is going to propel him to be great. Is he the most athletic offensive lineman you've ever? You know, oh, ever. Alongside? I don't know. I don't know if we can do Anton like that. Anton was pretty—he was pretty athletic. No, he's definitely up there. Going back to to Walter, what stands out to you about his personality and the person he is? <laughs> he's a lover. That's about it. He's always got a smile. He's always laughing. He's always there's never a bad moment with Walter. He he keeps the energy well around around the room. Is he the most interesting person? Hmm. Background, like family wise, yeah, y'all should look into that. He stayed yeah. over here for 35 yeah. minutes. He might be the most interesting guy I ran into for sure. <laughs> Who's number two? Dylan Gabriel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about him? You said stands out other than his. I'm gonna keep it respectful on camera, <laughs> 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 but Dylan Gabriel, okay. Outside of like, he talked about. I guess superheroes and all kinds of stuff yesterday. There's just a, a Walter. He's into superheroes and all kinds of stuff. He, he's he's different and so just eclectic. As far as that, he's the most eclectic person. 
I might need to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> What's that word? Uh, I guess diverse, odd, different. Mm. In a good way, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't know if I really look at any of our guys as odd. I guess it's not really odd, but Caleb Schaefer's always walking around with like a, a book about this thick. That's a yeah, what? I don't know, but it looked it looked pretty smart. Okay. <laughs> You're not <laughs> carrying around those books. Uh, not really. No. We had a whole bunch of them last night. What's the most interesting thing that you've learned about Walt Disney? Like his background or what he does or his free life? Oh, well, I think it's pretty interesting. His mom can't tell him what, what she used to do. That's what we got to look into. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> well, that or <laughs> one of us can get in trouble with it. I don't even know if I need to say. No. Uh, Eli's we're, we're not going to be here next week. Yeah. <laughs> this is it for me. <laughs> well, his mom? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm out of it. I can't be part of it. How do you keep an edge after a game like y'all had last week? Um, I mean, it goes back to it's our mindset this year. It's not, it's not about our opponent. Um, no, like all respect to Arkansas State, but we do realize it was Arkansas State, and we didn't really prove anything. You know, we have a next game where we're playing against some better people this week, and it, we just got to go out there and keep doing what we know how to do. For you, you talked about the mentality, of the game, but personally, how much did you be healthy again out there? It's healthy as you can be after a whole game. Oh, it feels so amazing. I got two shoulders working, two ankles at work. <laughs> it's great. I feel so fluid, so loose out there. What What you learn from knowing that? You're not physically 100% having to do the out technique, the out smart at like, what, what has that process been like? Uh, I think being tweaked a couple a couple times has just showed me that how small like the margin for error really is. Like, you really can't you can't put yourself in a position to not have the competitive advantage. Like, even if you're not hurt, you have to proactively be recovering your body, rehabbing, and make sure that you're strong, healthy, and not putting yourself at risk to be hurt. So it just taught me to be. But I gotta be better with the small things and be proactive. So it's now healthy, able to put all that together and roll out there. It looks like it doesn't matter to it. Yes, sir. Was it? It's just inside because the lightning. 